Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss how to find inverse of matrix A of order 2 by 2 by using adjoint method. So first of all, we apply here necessary condition for existence of inverse is, is find the determinant. If determinant is non-zero, then inverses exist. So let us find the determinant of the given matrix. We have the matrix A whose first row 3, 5 and second row 1, 2. The determinant of the matrix A is equal to 3, 5, 1, 2. Okay. Now the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix is obtained by 3 into 2 minus minus 5 into 1. This cross product minus this cross product. Okay. That is 3 into 2, 6 minus 5. The determinant is 1, which is non-zero. It means A inverses exist. Okay. Now, let us find the A inverse. So here we find the A inverse by using adjoint method that is A inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant into adjoint of A. Suppose this is equation number 1, here equation 2 and this is equation 3. So here we already find the determinant. The determinant is 1. Let us find the adjoint. So for adjoint of A, we consider cofactor matrix, cofactor matrix, we denote this matrix as a capital M is equal to A11, A12, A21, A22. Here, the capital Aij here are the cofactor which is obtained by the formula minus 1 raised to i plus j into m i j. Okay. So here m into i j is a minor which is obtained by deleting that is the inter the that is minor is obtained by minor of an element is obtained by deleting row and column intersect by that element and whatever the sub matrix we take its determinant okay so here the first we calculate a11 a11 that is minus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 here ij i is 1 j is 1 so i plus j into m11 okay minus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 2 minus 1 square is 1 Okay, into M11. M11 means what? That is the minor. Minor of this uh, three element, which is obtained by deleting row and column. So here, the minor of three. The minor of three is two. Okay, that is A11 is equal to, is equal to two. Okay, now A12. A12 is minus 1 raised to i plus j. i is 1. i is 1 here. And 2, j is 2 into m1, 2. Okay, that is the minus 1 raised to 3 is minus. And m1, 2 means the first row of the second element means 5. The minor of the 5 is obtained by deleting row and column that is the 1. Okay, so we get a1, 2 is equal to minus 1. Now next, cofactor A21 is minus 1 raised to 2 plus into M21 means minor of 1. M21 means second row of the first element. Minor of 1 is deleting row and column. The remaining matrix, submatrix is 5. Okay, and here the minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 is 3. That is minus. That is the minus 5. So we get here. A21 is equal to minus 5. Now, second cofactor A22 
a22 means minus 1 raised to 2 plus 2 into m22 is equal to minus 1 raised to 4 that is plus and m22 means minor of 2 that is 3. Okay. That is a22 is equal to second row of the second element is 3. Therefore, the minor, sorry, the cofactor matrix is uh, 2 minus 1 minus 5, 3. Okay. Now, the adjoint of A, adjoint of A is transpose of the cofactor. So, we have the cofactor matrix. Take its transpose. The first row becomes first column. Second row becomes second column. Okay. Now, the A inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant into adjoint of A. A inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant is 1 into adjoint of A is 2 minus 5 minus 1, 3. That is A inverse is equal to, so here 1 is present, 1 into uh, multiply this matrix, that is 1 is scalar number here, multiply to the every number, that is the matrix is as it is 2 minus 5 minus 1, 3. Okay. So here, for calculating the adjoint matrix, we can remember the tricks. Tricks is the uh, interchange, the diagonal element instead of 3, write 2 and instead of 2, write 3. Okay. And keep non-diagonal element as it is. Keep 5, 1 as it is and just multiply minus sign. Okay. In this way, we immediately find out the adjoint of 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching the video.